Blood Cross. Blood Cross and 2D. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. 2D. And I believe it's 2D with a hyphen in the middle. We'll fix oh, okay. that. Yeah. There you go. Put a hyphen in there, and we're good. All right. 2D playing Falco. Blood Cross playing Game and Watch. Riot, like it was Riot's first time last week being here, right? Being at Smash Guns, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. he 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 beat Soul. He beat um, AOI. Took one game off the Wolf. Took one game off of Wolf. He beat. Um, he came in fourth overall. So yeah, very impressive showing. And that was from coming in second seed. Yeah. So, so now, and it looks like now he's gonna probably come out first seed out of that pool after beating Apollo. I so. would think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most likely result. And so Blood Cross not opting for Blood, uh, for Meta Knight. He's kind of been really frustrated with. All right, so I'm going to be doing a solo solo commentary here. So yeah, Blood Cross, you know, he's bringing out Game and Watch. I think I think this is partially motivated to his uh, results at SK Tar. Blood Cross is one of our best players. But uh, obviously, I think he's a bit. If, if anyone who watches the stream knows, he's very. Um, uh, his emotions play a big part of his play, and uh, yeah, right now he's doing some some very strong stage control, getting good damage off off of every hit. Ooh, the number eight. Oh, gets the, the strongest up smash in the game into the strongest up smash into the game. The double Bioshock. The double. The double Big Daddy. And uh, let's see what we can do out of this. Doesn't read the tech right. We got Apollo Ali on stream with What's me. Up? Rad Brown Dads. Blood Cross with these wacky character choices. Yeah, I was telling the stream, I think it has maybe partially to do with his SK Tower results. I'm yeah, he, wants, he's, he was unhappy with that for sure. And, uh, you know, he is one of our best, but he, he can be... Um, he can he can play a little bit um, more motivated by his emotions than some yes. players can, and yes. I think I think for him, if he wants to play Game and Watch, it's probably the right choice, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, most people, I would say, no. Stick with your main. Like it's okay. You hit a setback. You should keep going hard. But I, I get this choice. Yeah. Oh, uh, tries to throw a down tilt out, but doesn't cover the space long enough. Oh, I like that cute bucket stall. Does a turn around. Brawl stuff. Yeah, it was, was so good, brawl. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It would instantly stop your momentum. So you could do stuff like be flying out of the blast zone, you had one frame or whatever, you just did, and you just stopped. That's awesome. Something like that. That might be... Brawl players can correct me on that, but it's something like that. Okay, gets a turtle to the up air to the parachute. Oh, my God. This man's playing Red Alert 2 right now, using that America superpower. Do we have the Red Alert theme song on our map? We do today? have it on nice. Norfair. Nice. He can jump out of that? This character's broken. Just oh, kidding. Yeah. He's not. He's awesome. <laughs> I actually try not to say anybody's broken on commentary, because that's all subjective. Yeah, that's pretty subjective. Nice. Oh, what a edge guard option. Oh. That's what I thought. You know what's cute? That he got <laughs> it was to like four things yeah. he could have done there. I like, I like that he didn't immediately just get to the edge and hold yeah. crouch. Like, yeah. yeah. I didn't even know if he would have enough time to, to gauge sure. it right. For sure. I really need to get some food. Are you hungry? If you want, I can do a solo cast. Solo. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some food. All right, go do that. Gotcha. All right, so we got uh, 2D going Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong, one of the stronger characters in the game, in my opinion. Um, you know, Diddy Kong just fast aggression, um, similar to Falcon in a way, but um, with a much better recovery. Uh, I liken him to be some somewhat like Captain Falcon in a weird way. And uh, we have Blood Cross going Falco. Okay, interesting. So Blood Cross, as most people know, is mainly a um, a, uh, a, a brawl player. So it's it's kind of cool to see him in Project M try and melee main. Oh yeah, nice shine stall. But Blood Cross, he's in shield, and to me that's always a bad sign for Falco players, but gets a Gatling combo. Why do we not see that more often? Ooh, keep it on the pressure. All right, all right, all right. Gets a grab off of the uh, get up. And what, what can Blood Cross do off of this? 
behind the Nair. I rarely see that. And uh, gets the Rising Dare back on stage using the Invincibility Frames. Really smart stuff. Putting on that pillar pressure. Ooh, ooh, up here to up tilt the back air. Oh, this man is innovative. Oh, showing him the feet. Oh, and just simple forward smash that Matt Dot Zeb shit. MDZ, this is what a brawl player can do with your character. All right, dash attack to jab. No, no, no follow-ups on the reset though. 2D has to do something to get stage control. You know, go for a gim, go for something. You need something. Oh. He tries to land a Nair into a uh, dash attack. I don't even think he needed that. I think one forward air would have been enough. And he, and he gets one. He gets one in neutral. And it's enough. You know, Blood Cross, keeping 2D in his shield, keeping him um, in, on the defense. And, uh,. Okay, we're gonna get out of that. He could have, you know, maybe gotten a forward smash, done something, but, you know, he's in a healthy lead, so he doesn't have to be worried. He can make a few mistakes at this point. Oh, but 2D, 2D getting back the momentum. And just like that, gets it taken from him. Oh, nice jab, but not the no follow up. Oh, Blood Cross feels himself. He's playing the Falco. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, never, he never plays the Falco. He hates his Falco. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he's doing some cool, innovative stuff. I don't even know what that attack was. Right, I don't even know what tilt. attack Falco has to send straight up it, without electricity. Yeah. Maybe it was an up tilt? Down tilt? Maybe down yeah, tilt. Yeah, that's like down tilt. Alright, so no combo from that. I'll cancel would have been able to shine into something. Okay, that's a little pressure right there from 2D. Oh, yeah. He, it, spot dodges, dude. Punish those spot dodges, please. Too much. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what 2D needs to do. He does the Gatling combo, man. Dash attack, cancel the yeah, up that, smash. That was nuts. That's Brawl Tech. Not enough melee people are doing that. Yeah, that's some Brawl shit right there. Is, that, really is that related good. to the Dacus? That it, is it the Dacus. Is, it is the Dacus. It's but called it's the, the Gatling, Gatling combo. because you cancel it a little later. The dash attack comes out, yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty nasty. Oh, I've actually heard about that being really integral in Game & Watch, but I suck, so I can't do it. Oh, yeah, oh, and, it's, and Falco can do it, too. And just like that, you know, Bro Blood Cross takes a quick two up. Like you said, innovative stuff. You bring that Brawl Tech into Falco. Yeah, like. and even his combo game was very, like, not flowcharty, like Falcos tend to be. Uh, so next on...